<laughs> the things you discover or learn about just by walking. Hi everyone, my name is Guillermo and I am an artist and educator and I specialize in art and nature and yoga and writing and drawing and painting and poetry, if I didn't mention that, but uh, today we're going to uh, take a walk, we're going to do a little bit of yoga, we'll uh, write a little bit and it's going to be fun, no stress. Uh, and uh, there's really not a, a, a big goal at the end of this uh, uh, project. The important thing to remember is to be present. Uh, don't forget to breathe and let, let things happen. Uh, I like to practice forest bathing here. I mean, in a place like Oak Park, it's a tree city, so there's lots of trees and uh, forest bathing is uh, uh, comes from the uh, Japanese tradition of walking through the forest. Uh, they believe that the trees release, and actually this is scientific research, uh, release uh, certain chemicals that are beneficial to, to your health. So this is a great place to, to do that. If you're not used to walking, and even if you are used to walking like me, uh, I think it helps to stretch. A few things that I like to do is uh, shoulder rolls. I go ahead and bring my shoulder heads, these are my shoulder heads, up to my ears, and then I just let them drop. Ah, that feels good already. And again, and then drop. Do that a few times. And then I start doing the shoulder rolls. So I bring the shoulders up and forward, up to the ears, and then I push them back, slide them down. Imagine your shoulder blades coming together and sliding down. Do that a few times in one direction. Don't forget to breathe while you're doing this. Another stretch All right, is I like to go ahead and lift my um, hands up towards the ear. But before we do that, let's look at our feet. Um, spread your uh, feet hip distance apart. Lift your hands up towards the sky, look up, and bring your hands to your heart. Feel the warmth of your chest, the heartbeat. And then we're gonna introduce breathing here, ready? We'll do it again, but with uh, a breathing technique. Very simple one. Inhale, raise your hands up towards the sky, look up, and exhale, bring your hands back to your heart. Do that a few times. And swan dive forward. Exhale. Knees that generously lift at the end. Inhale. Halfway up. Exhale. Forward bend. Inhale. Lift up towards the sky, exhale, hands on your heart, step, or prayer. Let's continue our walk and uh, let's see what happens. Be open-minded, let things happen. You might as well talk about how to walk, right? Uh, usually when we walk, we're walking for the purpose of getting somewhere. But we're not getting anywhere today. We're just going for a walk. Imagine that. Doesn't that sound strange? Like we're not, we don't have a target. The target here, if there's any, any, is just to be out for a walk. No destination. So uh, be mindful of how you walk. Start experimenting. Like think about each step, Thich Nhat Hanh, a well-known uh, peace activist, Buddhist monk, uh, says it best, uh, walk like your feet are kissing the earth.
So I want to say something about this and walking. Take time to, to notice and question. So, for example, this is not the usual scene here. There was a storm last night, pretty wicked storm. Um, the remnants of Cristobal, I believe, uh, this high pressure storm system. Anyway, it brought down a lot of branches and that's why we have this. And if you look closely, there's a bunny in there. And this requires, now the reason I noticed there's a bunny in there is because I'm paying attention and that's the nice thing about walking. You get a chance to stop and pay attention. Imagine this. Bunny. It's all good. We come in peace. It is perfectly okay, acceptable, and encouraged to stop and sit while, when, you, when you're walking. So I am stopping because I was inspired by this ant here. See it? Now you're probably wondering, what's the big deal? Ants, man, I've seen them all, right? But something that I like to do in my personal walking practice is to let events, even tiny events, such as this ant walking around, to alert me or to prompt me to, to, to stop and, and contemplate. And I don't have to contemplate on that ant, but I'm choosing to. Uh, I, I was that when I when I saw that ant, I was thinking about how ants are very active uh, before uh, a rainstorm, and uh, I'm also wondering why this ant is out and about all by itself. Maybe it's lost. It's kind of like a poetic moment. But it feels like one. And it's coming towards me now. <laughs> and now it's going away. There's no goal here. You don't have to stop here and have a revelation about the ants. Oh, now there are two ants. Anyway, let's go ahead and we'll keep walking. But the reason we stopped right now is because I wanted to rest and take notice of things happening around me like these ants that we sometimes overlook. And now let's continue walking. And let's see what else stops, our, stops us that makes us think. Sometimes I like to play games on my walk and this particular game is one that I play so that I don't end up stuck in a walking routine and what I mean by that is us you know we're creatures of habit and uh, you might find that when you start walking you'll pick the same path and the, the directions that you know so we're gonna play this game I'm just gonna make this up you can play it any way you want with any kind of prompt but here's the prompt we will change directions when we see a man with a hat, okay? I don't see a man with a hat right now. I actually see a woman with a hat um, right now. But I said man with a hat. As soon as we see one, we'll change directions. We're gonna walk straight, and when we see a man with a hat, we'll turn. I just saw a man with a hat, so I'm turning. I was walking straight, so now I have to turn. Come on. Okay, to continue this game, let's change the prompt. You can keep the same prompt, man with the hat, and keep walking and turning every time you see a man with a hat. Have, but let's play a little bit. Uh, next time I see uh, license plates on the car, out of state plates, I will change directions. Okay? 
So you don't want to focus too much on your cars, but glance over at cars once in a while. And if you see out of state plates, I will turn. Well, that was fast. I took a few steps and I just saw Connecticut plate. So now I got to go back in another direction. Like I said, it's important to, to stop to notice things. Right now, I'm noticing this flower, this beautiful flower. You'll notice things on your walk that maybe you have overlooked or things that just make you really happy, like that sign over there, Black Lives Matter. That makes me really happy. Remember that expect the unexpected on your walks. For example, uh, on this walk today, I came across this mural about uh, Henrietta Lacks, and she's very important in medical history because her cells were used in a medical breakthrough, but there were some injustices on how that was carried out, and this tells the story. So. You're always learning something if you're open to it during your walk. And this, this information is very important because it's about justice and, and peace. You can't have peace without justice. So here we are, back where we started, at this bench. I think that was about an hour ago. Uh, and at that time I had the umbrella open, but it's not raining, it's sunny. Uh, but uh, and on the t on the, speaking of time, your, your walk doesn't have to be long. It can be short. It can be just 15 minutes, 10 minutes. But the important thing is to walk and to not walk with some grand uh, uh, objective, some grand goal that you're going to have a major revelation, you're going to create an uh, epic drawing or poem, um, but just to take time to just be and not feel the pressure of having to produce. So um, one of the things that I like to do at the end of my walk is to sit just for a few minutes and uh, contemplate. Uh, what just happened not not you know and not not have to try to remember everything that happened but also this uh, could be a, a, a time and a space for you to transition to the rest of your day in, in a peaceful way I, I believe in transitions I think transitions are important I think we uh, we go from one thing to the other without being mindful of what happens in between and that can be very stressful so uh, uh, one of the biggest benefits of walking is it, it can be that that transition into the next part of your day which and that could be work that could be meeting somebody that could be art making maybe you're ready to write a poem and draw now uh, in, in a more relaxed manner so thanks for joining me on this walk and we'll continue talking about walking and, and creativity and nature in the next few segments.